Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Miss Digans, and today we are going to do a second year infants lesson. Today we are going to talk about geometry, solid shapes. Now let's check out what we're going to learn today. Today we are going to identify solid shapes and we are going to describe solid shapes. Now let's look at our first solid shape. Solid shapes are all around you. You're at home right now. Let's take a look around. What do you see? A television, a computer, a football. All of these items have shape. Let's talk about cubes. A cube has square faces. The faces are flat. All the faces are the same size. So here I have a cube. What do you notice about it? That's right. The faces are flat. Do they look alike or do they look different? They look alike. That means they look the same. Can you name some items that are the shape of a cube? How about some dice? Do you play games at home with your siblings or your classmates? What about a box? And some cubes of ice. Let's look at our next shape. A cone. A cone has one circular face. A cone has a pointed top. Here I have a cone. We see that the face is circular and it is flat and it is pointed. Can you think of some things around you that look like a cone? What about an ice cream cone? or a party hat. Have you ever seen a cone on the road while driving? Let's talk about our next shape. The next shape is a sphere. And a sphere is circular and round. Can you think of some things that are circular and round? A football. My boys and girls at home who love to play football. The planet Earth, our home planet. An orange. There are many other things that look like a we're going to look at our next shape, a cuboid. A cuboid has rectangular faces. The faces are flat. What do you notice about the cuboid? Are all the faces alike? That means the same. Or are they different? That's right. The faces are different. We have two square faces and we have four. Let's count together. One, two, three, four rectangular faces. Can you think of some things that look like a cuboid? 
How about a trailer? A box of tissues? Or when you're driving in the city and you see the tall buildings, they are the shape of a cuboid. Let's look at our next shape. A cylinder. A cylinder has two circular faces. The faces are flat. So let's count the faces. One, two. And they are circular and flat. So when you put it on the flat face, it can stand without rolling. Can you think of anything that is the shape of a cylinder? What about a roll of tissue, a toilet paper roll, a can or a tin. Some of us call it a tin or a can, a can of peas, a tin of peas. It's the same thing. The shape is a cylinder or a noodle. I know we are all excited to go back to the beach and to swim. We need a noodle to keep us afloat. So let's match the solids to their names. Hmm. I have the shapes on the left and I have their names on the right. Let's say the names on the right together. Cuboid, cone, Fair, cylinder, cube. The first shape, hmm, is it a cuboid? Is it a cone? Is it a sphere? Is it a cylinder? Or is it a cube? What's that? A cylinder? Excellent. Let's look at our next shape. Is it a cuboid? Is it a cone? Is it a sphere? Or is it a cube? We know it's not a cylinder. Hmm. It has faces that are not alike. They're not the same. Some are rectangular and some are square. It must be a cuboid. Let's look at our next shape. I remember that one. It reminds me of a party hat. It must be a cone. Let's look at our next shape. What does it remind you of? It's square. The faces are flat. That's right. It's a cube and our final shape is round like planet earth it's a sphere excellent job guys now let's look at this activity that you can do at home you will need popsicle sticks or match sticks play-doh or something sticky like marshmallows and you're going to build a cube so let's look at our cube one more time and you're going to count the number of faces with me one two three four five six so the cube you make at home must have six faces thank you all for joining in with me today i hope that you have learned a lot please encourage your parents to go to learn moe.gov.tt where they will find many ECCE primary and secondary school activities. See you guys soon.